Ladies and gents, we are going to play a new game. It's called Outworld Creating Company, and it's still in beta stage. Beta 2, to be exact. I've played a couple of times. I like it. I'm awful at it. So what I thought was we could sit here today. We're going to start a new campaign. And I'm going to show you guys what this game's all about. I like it a lot. It's just the fact that I am apparently not a good business person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock down a couple of levels. That way I can show you guys what's actually happening here and not feel like a total asshat about it. But this is good. I kind of want to make this a new series. Let's see how far we can get in this campaign. Um, if it goes over well, I'll keep doing them. So, basically you have several factions here. You've got basic humans, robots, scavengers, scientists. Each one of them do a different thing. From what I can tell, when you're using robots, you don't have to worry about food or air, which is super nice. Uh, the only downside is, is that they have one component, and that is electronics. That goes out of control very quickly, especially if you're up against other robots, because you're either producing it or you're not. Scavengers I haven't played as yet, but I like them. Um, I like the idea of them anyway. They seem to have a lot of cool sabotage features. I want to explore with that. Scientists are neat. Um, they focus less on hardcore mining and more on what can we make out of chemicals. Downside there again is that you're not only worried about food, fuel, air, but now an added component of chemicals. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab Eleanor. She's a standard human uh, population. All we got to do is worry about mining, get our food source, get our water source, be profitable. The goal of the game, you're colonizing Mars. So they're sending out one of these four companies to each location. We're going to grab it. We're going to go. Pretty much it. So I'm going to start my timer here. That way we keep on track for episodes. And uh, we're going to get started. I think it's going to be fun. So, right off the bat, you can see that we've got 600,000 in funds, zero debt, we've got 400,000 coming in, so we're negative. What we can do is we can go ahead and purchase some of this labor stuff. Looking over things here, I think we're just going to start. I don't want to I don't want to purchase something unless we need to. So, right off, we're going to have two solar panel engineers, which is good. That's a lot of energy for us. We're going to be able to make one farm one fuel and uh, air producer, one water pump, an element mine, a metal mine. And then from there we can make glass and steel. It's pretty much all you need, honestly. The rest of it's kind of luxuries, like the chemical lab, for selling chemicals, make a shit ton of money off of that. So the goal here, we want to uh, make our stock price go up as much as possible. You can take a look here and see what everybody else is starting with. Uh, but from there on, you just kind of pick a place. At least this is what I've discovered so far. Pick up a spot. So here we got a medium map. It's going to be riverbeds. There's a lot of resources here, so we're going to be able to get a good head start. And there's no patent lab, which is good if we're up against scientists, which I think the research... No, these two. Yeah, these two are scientists. So we'll see what we're up against. Now let's start round one. The nice thing is the rounds are usually about 20 minutes each. And then off the bat here, you start with a scanning tool. Low levels of aluminum found. And it kind of helps you find what's in the area. You can see that it gives you a limit Low to how many you can buy. Found. Or how many times you can scan. Man, there is nothing around here. We're in a bad spot. Oh, here we go. High levels of here we go. Found. So what are we going to need? Let's pause real quick. What do we need right off the bat? Because we need to put our expansive HQ. Our base resource here is steel. So we're going to definitely need iron. We're going to need aluminum, which we have a ton of. So, you know, if we pop this here, we start off with 20 iron right away or 40 iron. Uh, but that's going to limit our mining capabilities. Whereas we keep those as mines, we don't have to worry about them so much. You get a bonus for putting your mines next to each other because they can feed off of each other. So if we stack three mines there, then we get a 50% bonus and then a 100% bonus. So one, two, three. 
they're all linked together. So that's what we want to do. I'm kind of tempted to drop us right on this aluminum. But then we're very far away from all of our other resources. This is the colony we're building. And the win condition is basically build as many of these situations in your colony as possible. You want to invest the most money in the colony. Technically the new donut. So, we're up against Sabotage Corp. They're one of the scavengers, I think. Mutiny, yeah. Pirates. So you can see that they're kind of way better off than we are. Um, I'm not seeing any water, which is really a downside for us. And this map's not huge. I bet you it's all up here. So... God, we are just off to an awful start. Um, let's grab this aluminum. If anything, it'll give us something to sell, something to build with. Preliminary scans agree this is a great primary so here's all of our resources, as we currently have we them. <clears throat> we can actually upgrade right now, if we wanted to. Uh, we're going to keep that in mind. We need power. So we're going to find a good spot for solar panels. Remember, if you link them together, you get more. So like up here, we only have two, so if we plot both of them up there, we're going to get a bonus. Might as well take advantage of that. So, let's see. Look, what's... We wanted to grab that iron. Definitely. Pop that guy there. That's going to discourage other people from attempting to take those, if we plop it in the middle. Uh, because then, they don't get bonuses if they stack them. And I think we should start right off with a steel mill. And we might even consider doing an upgrade. That might not be a bad plan. So if I build another mine, can I build another mine? Yeah, I totally can. Can we still? We can still upgrade. With each new citizen, our donation All right. So grows. let's go ahead and do that. That's going to give us five more claims, so we can claim tiles right away as we start making money. Oh, and see, he plopped that shit right there. Low levels of silicon found. There must not be a whole lot of iron in this map, then. So our goal is to become more invested in the colony than this player. We're playing against spots, of course. You can see that we're incurring debt. Looks like we are... What's well, costing us money? High levels of iron found. Food, water, oxygen, yeah, typical. And they're already using the black market against us. Man. So we need to come down here and get this water. Right away. He took one of the best sources of carbon. Man, there is nothing. I thought this was a high place. There's no resources here at all. We're going to come in and capture some of that silicon and right away. There's some more carbon, so that's good. Some higher end over here. He's probably going to go snag that. That's what I would do. So we're producing water, which is good. Water is expensive, as you can see. I'm tempted. All right, let's just wait a minute. Pirates. I hate those filthy And bandits. of course he's cutting off our water supply. That's really shitty. So the goal here, nighttime is kind of a problem. Um, and he took our iron farm. Man. This is gonna be a tough match. The black market is online. Energy's pretty cheap. So the downside of nighttime is that solar panels obviously don't work. But for now, power is pretty inexpensive. So 
we've got that going for us. He's building water down there. We got the most water though, so that's good. Now the power is going up. We're going to be spending money there. We're not making money, excuse me. Our iron plant is back, so we're going to be producing metal. I want to plop another one down right next to it. As soon as we have the funds. That's the problem with pirates, is they'll take over these ships as they get over there. Sell some of our water to make another iron mine. And then I want to make another water mine too. Maybe a fuel. How much does fuel cost? Thousand? That's going to take a little while. And you can see how sometimes the market's going to kick in and say, okay, now this is super cheap or this is super expensive. Which adds an interesting element to the game. It looks like we're making steel, which is good. Steel is expensive at the moment, so hopefully we can make a pretty penny off of that. We're going to be turning water into fuel, so we definitely want to be mining a lot of it. The only downside is, is that all oh, these Green pirates are over pirates here. Are auctioning their services to the highest bid. Two thousand. I don't think it's worth bidding on. We first off, don't have it, so we can't bid on it. So I have three more claims. I think tackling some aluminum is going to be a good idea. And there's iron up here. That might be worth investigating. Uh, but we are going to need silicon. It's Pirates. used in making glass. I hate those filthy bandits. So we're bringing in one iron a second, but we're already we're only generating a third steel a second. So let's build another steel plant. Start using the iron we're bringing in, which is going to help out a lot. Almost everything you do to upgrade requires steel. So it's good to have an abundance of it. Especially when the market's that high, we'll be able to sell some of it off in the early game. We're halfway through this level and we're hardly doing any work at all. Kind of discouraging. Discouraging. Start turning that water into fuel here. Lower our costs. See, as pirates are having a hard time keeping all my water down, which is really nice. And we still have an abundance of iron, but it's working great with our steel production. So, just wait a little bit here. This is the hard part. So now look, he's got his computer chip manufacturing. These might actually be robots. Oh, great. He froze our steel production. No, they're definitely sabotage, yeah. It's interesting. Bringing in a lot of goods, though. Bidding will begin at. I really want to get an upgrade pretty soon. So. Just don't have the funds for it. These sabotagers are really good at keeping you shut down, which makes it a huge challenge. Hopefully, we can catch back up. I man, I wish food got cheaper. I'm gonna start producing that. Surplus and iron, which is nice. That means we can 
buy a lot of it if we want to convert it into steel, but it's still another minute before we can make any steel. So, we're still going to buy some while we can. I'm using $70 a second to fuel. So we're not producing nearly enough to satisfy our needs. There's an oxygen surplus, so that cost is going to go down a lot. We have a lot of water we could sell, but it's only $9. Glass is going up in cost, too. We're producing steel again, which is nice. Still losing a lot of money to these pirates, though. EMP. Ah, shut down our water production. Alright. Good thing we have a lot of surplus, though. Not too worried. Kind of the problem with these small maps is that he's going to dominate a lot of the infrastructure. Water is going up, which is good. It means we can sell some of our surplus, make a ton of money, and get that upgrade we desperately need. So we have six grand, two thousand short of being able to upgrade. New patent up for auction. Bidding will begin at. Auction unclaimed, bidding closed. Or we could sabotage him, which might not be a bad idea. He's having a hard time with energy from the looks of it. We might want to do that next. Um, with each new citizen, upgrade. our domination grows. We're bringing in a ton of water. I want to start... Can we start mining silicon? Yes, we can. Start making that glass. God, we just can't make any money. gonna help with our fuel problem and finally I think that might put us in profit range here iron shortage that's nice the food wasn't costing us so much money three grand it's because we don't have glass which is super expensive. These pirates weren't so prevalent here, we'd be doing a lot better. That's for sure. make more power we're making glass which is nice glass is easy money in this map we've got an abundance of fuel <clears throat> I think we're finally gonna be able to start making money and be profitable sadly we have two days left to buy any parts of this colony How much do we need? 4,000? Okay. 
So that put us in the lead. We have two shares in this. Which I'm not too worried about. I wish he didn't take my silicon. That's okay. Uh, now he's starting to buy, which is a shame. Ooh, water shortage, and I've got a lot of water coming in. That's good. So the real trouble here, you got to keep your claims going up. And to do that, you have to keep upgrading, which costs a lot. Um, so I think in this point of the game, we're better off buying this stuff than we are... At a certain point here, we're going to be unable to purchase more housing and that kind of stuff. Right now we're in the lead. Even with him blowing our stuff up. So see how we got rid of all the housing options? So now he can only buy the super expensive stuff, which I'm not so sure he can actually do. The only downside is that we have a lot of debt from food. And we have no way of building it. So, we are being mutinied there. He blew something up. Water? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. It's only going to last a couple more seconds here, and then we'll get our silicon back. What did he nuke? Oh. That's okay, though. We're in the last day. We are in the lead. By a lot. So I think we probably are going to pull this out of our asses. There's another hour of the day left. I wish food wasn't so expensive, but hey, what can you do? Nice! There we are. It's episode one. This is Outworld. I'm liking it. I want to see it get a little uh, more progressive as the betas come out. Oh, wow. You definitely beat us in terms of stock, that's for sure. So, that's episode one. Um, I'll see you for the next one, hopefully. All right? Thanks, guys.